I'm Chris Anka, and today we are drawing the Runaways. I've been drawing for as long as I can remember. I remember getting like a How to Draw Dinosaurs book when I was like three, and I've just kind of never stopped. I remember picking up Runaways number one a month before I started my freshman year of high school. So it was kind of like exactly the right age at the right time for me, kids growing up in LA. I knew a Gert, I knew a Chase, like I knew these kids. It always felt really familiar for me. Going into this piece, I luckily had a very clear idea what I wanted in my head. Getting all the characters kind of in, getting sort of the personalities across. I just kind of wanted to capture all of the kids together. There isn't really a lot of instances in the first arc where the whole group is finally together. So I wanted to kind of do a, a piece that sort of celebrates the team back together. So I wanted a very happy moment with them. So I was kind of this very iconic pinup. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got is figure out your character. How they stand, where they're looking, how do they interact with each other is all decided upon who the character actually is. So knowing that character will make your life so much easier because you will soon feel like you're not so much making it up as opposed to the character is deciding it for you. Molly is a really great change of pace to the other kids. There is still this sort of youthful resonance that she has, and so I can play her really emotionally straight. What you see is what you get with Molly, and you can kind of go a little playful with it. My favorite thing about Carolina is that she knows herself more than anyone else, so it's really fun to play with someone who's that sure of themselves. Whereas the counterpoint to Nico is that she's really fun because she's so unsure of herself. So there's a turmoil in her own head that's really fun to kind of capture. Chase is a lot of fun because even though if he's messing things up, you know there's an earnestness to him that's really fun to capture because it's always kind of prevalent. My favorite thing about drawing Gert is there's sort of an angst to her, especially where we're meeting her, where she's trying to find her place in the world again. She tends to be the, the angriest one in the room, and it's a lot of fun just having that emotional change that the other kids don't really quite have yet. Old Lace emotes a lot. She's an alive character as much as any of the other kids are. So finding the right balance with her and finding like the right size of eyes, finding the correct amount of caricature to her is really tricky. It's just getting her feeling right. And Victor's really fun because Victor was one of my favorites growing up. Being able to just draw him at all is just a lot of fun for me. I was definitely nervous when I was first starting at Marvel, and it took me a few years to kind of wrap my head around that I was doing books on stands. Still to this day, I catch my ball like, I'm drawing the Runaways. Like, that's still kind of a big deal for me. When they offered me Runaways, I immediately said no, because it, was, it sounded so terrifying to me. Old Ace is the hardest thing I've ever had to draw at Marvel. She is nerve-wracking every single time to try to figure her out. Uh, but it's